Hi there! So today I am going to be actually working on kind of rejuvenating this little basket planter here. Uh, my husband got this for me, gosh, I don't know, maybe like 10, 10 years ago, 8, 10 years ago. And um, I've had a few different plants in here. Um, this parlor palm actually came in it. It's still in here and so it's not looking the greatest. <laughs> Um, I have kind of I separated it once and taken a piece of it out and put it it put it in another uh, planter, um, but then I kept some of it in here. I also um, had <laughs> you can hear the crunch <laughs> the crunch of death. Uh, I had an ivy in there and it's obviously died. Um, I've got this uh, Norfolk Island pine in here that looks amazing. These things are a great house plant if you're looking for these. You can find them. Uh, a lot of times in the stores around like Christmas time, but I think it's just a great plant year round. Um, I love it. I've got a giant one I've had for years and it does great. Um, I also had, I think, a pothos in here and uh, it is completely dead and crunchy too. So what I'm going to do is my mom actually, she bought me, uh, she went to the Dollar General and she bought me a bunch of these cute little fairies. I should take them out of the package actually. So you can see them but i thought man how fun would it be to kind of clean this little container up i forgot about it it's in my bedroom in my closet by a window and I, you know i'm just not in there all the time and this part was like facing me and so i didn't notice that these other plants were just you know on the deathbed so we are gonna try to fix it up and uh, maybe make a little fairy garden i don't know I've never actually made um, a fairy garden before myself. So I thought maybe we could use up these cute little fairies that my mom got me and see what we can do. I also have some uh, rocks. So I just have some like pebbles and rocks and moss that I could probably use. So I'm just kind of trying to think of like what other things I could use that I already have to make this cute fairy garden. So. Anyway, I'm gonna get these things unpackaged and I'll show them to you and then we'll get started. Will your bed name for me is squall when you come on drinking and can barely crawl and all that loving on me won't make things right. Will you leave me to keep the TV clean. Here's a little close look up at my uh, plant. So you can see this Norfolk Island Pine is just doing great. It needs water for sure. Um, I, I'm debating on whether or not I want to keep this parlor palm in here. It's pretty crusty, but I might be able to save a piece of it. And then uh, obviously this <laughs> loopsie. So let's get going, see what we can do to this little basket. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna pull this Ivy out. Mm, I feel really bad because this was a really pretty uh, variegated ivy and it's pretty hard to kill an ivy and I, I killed it so. <laughs> so there's that. All right there she is. Sorry little bud. All right now just gonna kind of collect all the little bits and pieces here. All the little straggly pieces. Yeah, are you having fun, buddy? So fun, huh? And then I'm probably just gonna leave this uh, Norfolk right where it's at. And then I think I'm just gonna come in here and clip off the kind of crunchy leaves on this parlor palm and go from there. That bad water that you've been drinking makes you feel big, but cheap your shrinking since you've been on that love making die. I'm really excited because I went out to get this uh, green potting tray here so that I could kind of not make a mess when I transplant this parlor palm. And I also went out to get uh, this little pot and some soil and I found 
uh, some driftwood and then some more rocks that I've tumbled. And I actually have a lot more rocks out there too that are bigger. So I might use these ones as well. Came down here on the floor because Max is like wanting to be all up in my business here. <clears throat> and he doesn't ever get to be around my plants. Nope. Because I keep them keep them away from him in a different room usually. But I think this these are this is so dry. <laughs> This is so dry. I'm gonna think I'm gonna soak the roots a little bit, um, and then we'll we'll plant it up in this little this little container. So it's a few days later. <laughs> uh, I had to stop doing the fairy garden that day because uh, I had I, I work from home and I was doing that on my lunch break and then I just ran out of time and I had to get back to work. So I thought I had more time than what I did. Uh, but anyway, I am back at it today. It's Saturday, so I've got tons of time. And look, since <laughs> since I've seen you last, we got a ton of snow. I think we got about like six, seven, eight inches, depending on um, where you are in my yard. So it is a typical January day today. So Max and I are gonna be inside today working on our fairy garden project, getting that back up and going. <laughs> so let's get back to so it. I came down on the floor because Max wanted to help. And this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Hey, buddy, <laughs> you gotta get out. This is why I don't let him come around my plants. Oh, buddy, we gotta figure something out. I don't know how we're gonna do this. No. You're being so naughty. Look at this, look at this. We're gonna have to give you a bath. So I think I'm gonna put some more soil in here to start out, just to kind of raise the level up a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. This is crazy. This is nuts, you guys. I, I'm glad Nate isn't here because he, um, he would be having like a freak out over all this dirt going everywhere. I'll clean it up. Like, I don't want dirt everywhere either, but my gosh, this is insane. Okay, let's get, um, so the other day I went out and I actually cut some uh, wood pieces with my chainsaw and I got a few different sizes. I got like a um, bigger size and then littler sizes. I think this is the littlest size I got. So, um, here, Max, you wanna play with that? Play with that. Go play with that piece of wood. Um, so when I did that, I cut these with my new chainsaw that I got. I had a bunch of like, like sawdusty shavings. So I thought that might be cool to lay down on there ASAP, because we have a digger. Nope. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be, this, maybe this will be like, um, like an like epic fail. I don't think I've ever said that in my life. But, Mister, you're crazy. We're just doing this. I mean, it, we we got into this point. Let's place the uh, let's place this thing first. The little house and Mister, Mister, no. Oh my gosh, you guys. We'll place the house in there, and maybe I'm gonna place it up on like something sturdy. Um, okay, and then I was thinking I could grab all these little pieces that are in here and make a path. This little baby cheetah. So first I think I'm gonna lay down some of uh, the moss 
and Max just literally jumped on here. So I, I don't know how, how long this is gonna last because <laughs> he is in rare form today. He's just really excited. Nope. He's really excited because I never let him come around my plants. So I'm just gonna make like a little mossy path. Actually, I think I might put some moss under there too, just to raise, <clears throat> raise that up a little bit and use this. There we go. All right, so then I was thinking I could take all these little wood pieces and make a path. Max approves and just make a little path. You might have to raise that house up a little bit more. I cut these pieces uh, when they were all wet from the snow. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I'm just like trying to trying to stay calm. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. Every time I stick my hands in here, he cr nope. He crouches down like it's a game, and uh, thinks that you know it's a game. So I was thinking I could make a cool little uh, spot over here for the bench, and I feel like this rock would look nice for the bench. So I'm just gonna kind of pour this around the area and hopefully it looks good so i put the bench here and i don't i don't know for some reason i don't really like it that much to fix it all so I rearranged some things I took out the sign in the back and put another fairy and I was gonna maybe put the sign like right here instead Alright, 
So it's a few hours later because Max was just being nuts and I was staring at it and I thought it was too busy in here so I replaced those little uh, wood pieces with the bigger ones and I was thinking about making like a little fence right here. So I just have a piece of my birch tree and I'm gonna cut some pieces. It's coming together. I was gonna sc completely scrap this project, to be honest, with all the setbacks from Max, but um, I'm really loving this little fence that I just put in. I think it, it's just what it needed. Um, and I think it needs something back behind the house as well, so I'm gonna make a little fence to put back there. And I think we'll be done. Just have to figure out if I want it like two sections. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do two sections. And then like a piece right here. And this is from my river birch tree that I trimmed earlier this year. I wish that I had a little bit smaller chunks, but this will do. Yeah, so we'll make another little two section fence back here just for a little bit of an anchor. So it's all done and I think it turned out all right. It's not like my best work, but I just use everything I had. And the only plant in here is this Norfolk Island Pine and I love it. It's almost like this Dr. Susie looking tree um, amongst all these cute little fairy things. So I feel like it kind of turned out almost like a fairy rock garden. So I've got like little fairy things going on, the things that my mom gave me. And then also I got to showcase like all these cool rocks that I've been collecting from Lake Michigan. I mean, look at that one. That one is so cool. I just noticed that one. That's so neat. But yeah, so some of these I've tumbled and so they're a little bit shiny, some are not. So we just ended up with this really cute wood path that I cut with my chainsaw that I got for free. Uh, these little, uh, this little hut and a welcome sign with the mushrooms. And then there's just some little red rosy rock in there with a fairy. And then this is actually like a little um, faucet with some fl a flower pot that I thought was really cool. So. Uh, and then along here, I just kind of continued the rocks. I did kind of a rosy feel around there. And then I kind of have this like rock path here that goes around there. And in here we put the sawdust with another fairy back there. Um, if you come around here, there's another little rock path that goes in here. 
and then um, back here there's some really pretty hidden rosy rocks that I put. So that's it from the back. It looks really cool and you can see that uh, rock path kind of spins around the tree like that. Then I went in and added these cute little um, fences with just some birch tree limbs that I, I limbed up my birch trees this summer and uh, I saved some of the wood because I think it's really pretty wood. So I made a few fences and I think it turned out better than I thought. I was about ready to give up on this project a few different times just because like I said, I was busy at work. I had to get back to work the one day and then Max was um, just all up in my business. So um, I finished it. It's not my favorite, but it turned out. Thank right. you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed me kind of putting that together. I know it was a hodgepodge mess of a project, but um, it, it was fun. It turned out being fun in the end. And I'm glad I got to kind of repurpose this plant in this basket because it wasn't really doing me any favors how I had it. And so I'm gonna go put it back in my uh, closet where I had it. And I think it's gonna do really well. And um, this plant is just gonna thrive and survive because it's always done well in that little corner. All the other plants seem to die out. So. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, bye.